All right, so today we're talking about a very important tool to have in any SQL developer's toolbox, and that's Dynamic SQL, coming up. All right, so today we're going to be talking about Dynamic SQL. So what is Dynamic SQL? Well, Dynamic SQL is when you build a SQL statement at runtime, okay? So let's take a look at a simple, quick example. So we're just going to type our execute statement here, parentheses, and then we're going to put a SQL statement as a string. So we'll just do select star from person dot person. Okay, and we'll run this, and there you have it. We executed just a simple SQL statement as a string. So let's take a look at another example of why this is useful and why this is important. So let's suppose we have a control table here. Okay, and we'll take a look at this SQL statement here. And this is just a control table that has a lookup value, person.person. .person. Remember, that's our table. So now we can, what we can do is we can declare a variable up here. Okay, we'll declare a table variable. And then we'll select it in our statement here. So now all we're doing is we're, we're selecting this value into and putting storing it in this variable here. And now we can then build our SQL statement on the fly by typing select star from and then we'll add our table variable. So we're building the statement on the fly, okay, at runtime. And then we'll execute that. And there you have it. And there's our results. But an even more powerful thing you can do with this is let's change this to person SQL. Let's see what that looks like. Suppose you had a web page and you wanted users to be able to enter their own SQL statements. That's another powerful thing you can do here. So let's change this variable to um, SQL. Okay, and then we'll select it down here. And then all we have to do in our statement down here is pass in our SQL variable and run that. Right? So now let's pretend we have our SQL statement in a control table, but it could easily be an input box on a web page where a user can, can enter their own SQL statements. Okay? So that's the power of dynamic SQL. And those are a couple of use cases right there. All right. Now I'm going to show you another way to execute these dynamic SQL statements. Um, and that's using a system store procedure called SP Execute SQL. Um, and I'm going to show you a reason why you might want to use this. Okay, um, so let's let's call that here. So you can see I just declared a simple variable that's going to hold our SQL statement, and then I set it to a simple select statement that we've been using earlier. Um, so now let's call our let's call this statement here. Let's go. We'll call execute, and it's SP underscore execute SQL. And you'll see it's it's now shaded in, in red. So that means we've we got the right procedure. Okay? And then we'll pass our statement here. And then we'll run this. And as you expect, we get the results we're looking for. But what if you wanted to pass a parameter to this SQL statement? Okay? How would you do that? Well, let's declare another variable here called first name. And we'll call this in bar car. Okay, and now let's just set our um, variable here equal to, to a first name. We'll say Ken, K-E-N, okay? Now, what if we wanted to pass that to our statement here? Well, we could add where first name equals at first name. But how do we pass this value? Well, that's where this SP execute SQL comes in handy. It allows you to pass parameters. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we have to do is we have to pass a string here. And this N in front of the string just denotes, makes it Unicode. Um, so, let's, so you have to declare it here. So at first name N bar car. 50, okay, so this declares it um, kind of within 
our dynamic SQL statement. And then you pass the value in our outside SQL statement here. So you pass the value of this here. So you pass that there. And now this parameter will get passed into this string here. So let's go ahead and run this. And there you have it. Now we only have records where the first name equals Ken. Um, so that's how you can pass parameters when using dynamic SQL. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content. And thanks for watching.